play. I mentioned Berrettini has the, the biggest serve left in the draw in terms of pace. He's also hit the most forehand winners of anyone in the draw. Over 80 he struck in the US Open so far. Really goes after it. Similar number of unforced errors though. Just after there noon here, 6.14 p.m. in Norway. And Root says, tennis is not always easy for Norwegians to follow because we play in different time zones in a different part of the world all the time. He says, it's not always easy to catch the right times when I'm playing. But it's growing. I'm happy that it is, and he's the reason it's growing. Perfect time of day for the Norwegians and the Italians to be tuning into this one. What about dinner time for both the Italians? Who have pizza pasta got to be on the menu. The Norwegians, not so sure. <laughs> Is that fish diet over there? Right, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> How easy or is it going to be for Rude to find the Berrettini backhand? Well, I think it's going to start with the serve, as we saw there. He doesn't go for out and out pace in the serve. He's got a really heavy kicker. And I actually think that's a bigger weapon against the Berrettini backhand than a, a big flat serve. Get it up high, get it kicking. See him struggling to deal with it there. And that's a nice start for the Norwegian. His father played ball. Father and coach, Christian. He was pretty good too, but his son has already surpassed him in ranking in titles won. Casper's best results have come on clay in the smaller tournaments, but then he made his way into the championship match against Rafa Nadal, and it's at Rafa's academy in Mallorca, where he's been training the last couple of years. Rafa and Tony Nadal, Rafa's uncle, have nothing but good things to say about his work ethic and his character. He says he wants to build that as much as his game. Matteo Bertini to serve. No, 15. As you mentioned, Mary, the, the roof is closed. It's almost got a, a night session feel to it under the lights here. And it'd be interesting to see who that, that favors more. It does have a, a, a heavier feel, maybe not quite as quick had it been a a hot day, a, you know, a lively day. Possibly makes the Berrettini serve slightly more returnable. But equally, no wind or any external factors to put him out of a rhythm. So I, I, I wouldn't say at this stage that it's obviously going to favor one over the other. Rude trying to do that time and again, banging into the backhand of Berrettini and opening up the court that way into his forehand.
it's a slow start for Berrettini. Which is one of four first serves. Lost all three points in his second. Chance for a quick start here as we see Casper's father, Christian. that one an early break for the young Norwegian good by two games still up yeah, it's a disappointing start from Matteo Berrettini a slow start first serve. possibly some early nerves also first match of the day maybe just not quite got to the place he wants to be to start this match I think it still comes as relative surprise when Rude is, is going deep in the biggest hardcore events, but you know, it should become less of a surprise now. Finalist in Miami, the Masters 1000 there. And, and he's just such a solid player on all surfaces and gives himself chances to win. You touched on the mentality, the professionalism that Rafa and Tony Nadal reflected on. That's, that's what it's about. Always giving yourself chances to win matches. Never gives a match away. Another solid start here. Beautiful stuff. Rafa Nadal was on this court yesterday. 14, 15. Losing to the 24 year old American Francis Tiafo. A terrific win for Tiafo. When Root played Nadal in the championships, the final round of the French Open this year, he lost the last 11 games to his idol. Not a great final, I must say. Yeah, I think a little overawed by playing Rafa in that final, his idol. A solid start for 23 year old Casper Root. Already up three love. Root leads by three games, two love. First one. No, 15. Not the races so far. Serve percentage struggling, six unforced error there already. You know, they've run out of those commemorative cups, uh, the famous $22. Left. Honey juice. The honey juice, yes. Record breaking attendances this year, <laughs> and I guess record breaking <laughs> sales of honey juice come with that. Second double. 
Usually one of the best second serves in the game. Very anxious, Berrettini. Rigid in his shot production. The feet aren't moving. Sleepy, maybe? Yeah, I think possibly. Uh, first match of the day, maybe a, a, a slow start. has won four games. Matteo Berrettini has won five points. Good yeah, he lost points. the opening set, yeah. Berrettini to Davidovic Fakina in the, the previous round and talked in his, his post-match uh, interview about having to find the right energy on the court. And that allowed him to, to get into the match, play much better, and definitely not find the right energy yet out here. He looks flat, he looks nervous, looks sleepy. And if you want to catch up on the previous rounds and, of course, all the social media challenges, check out usopen.org. Everything there for you. 15 up. Credit to Root, though. He's come out the blocks very nicely. 82% of first serves. Hasn't made an unforced error yet, allowing Berrettini to hand him the initiative. Of the match so far, 20 shots. Both men going toe to toe, huge hitting. The team of Berrettini, his two two main coaches, the bottom left there, Vincenzo Santo Padre and Berto Rihanna. Santo Padre in the white hoodie, Rihanna in the, the blue t shirt. Mateo's mom and that guy with the beard, that's the restaurant owner. The super fan. The super fan, exactly. Some anxious beard scratching going on there. Yeah. No wonder.
He's won a couple of the longer rallies now, Berrettini, but he must be thinking to himself, is this how hard I've got to work? Is this how solid Rude is going to stay? And the guy doing the beard scratching there, that was Berrettini's father, Luca, looking very anxious. Now, Rude is uh, very sharp here in the early stages. Couldn't have dreamt of a better start. Great games. And Berrettini has won only seven points. What is this first set winds down? Still off. First set. Buy into the belief that you should never win an opening set six love. Hell no, I'd take a, a, a six love win any day. I'd take any <laughs> set. <laughs> I understand that though. Yeah. yeah, sometimes I think it lull you into that false sense of security and well, your opponent's only going to get better, right? Correct. <laughs> Interestingly, Berrettini's only ever lost one tour level set six Third love. Enough. His whole career. I mean, it, it would be unusual, with the, especially with the serve he possesses. Let's pass us. Second ace for Berrettini. Fourteen, fifteen. Rude has played a, a smart opening set. No, not just a, a solid one. When he's gone into the Berrettini forehand, he's gone there with purpose, as he did there. You don't want to give the Italian anything neutral on that wing or attackable. Anything neutral has been directed to the backhand, the Berrettini. That flies on him. 40, 30. 11th unforced error, 12th unforced error. Casper Hood struck just one. Beagle avoided. Usually you want to get the bagels when you're in New York. <laughs> Oh. 
just looks so eager for the ball, Maybe doesn't he, Colin? Yeah, that's huge. I mean, he's bullying Berrettini off the ground. He has it come here just to be solid, Kasper Ruud. Although he does seem to have full ownership of his game, doesn't he? Oh. We saw the previous point really flattening the forehand out and then getting up onto and inside the baseline for the next ball. These are the adjustments he's made to be effective on a hard court. Burst onto the scene as uh, one of the best clay quarters in the world. That's where most of his success has come. say it's an adjustment in, in court position it's a, a willingness 15. to flatten the ball out forehand and backhand moving better on the surface out of the corners Been a, a steady improvement for Rude. Worrying thing, Mary, is you see him hit that return halfway up the net. The 12 unforced errors, a lot of them have been big errors. You know, nowhere near making them. Berrettini has just torched this forehand up the line. A fair amount of anger going into the ball, I think. <laughs> but he still faces set point. A 101 mile an hour forehand. Another wow, error gives Casper Rude the opening one. set in 27 minutes. Berrettini's got to wake up on Giorno, Matteo. Berrettini's serving first with new balls in set two. Let's see if that helps. Exactly what Berrettini needed to, to start the set here. Finding the first serve. Made just one from five in his opening service game in which he was broken.
First game, second set. So Berrettini, Colin, has to forget that opening set and Rude has to remember it. This is like a memory mind game going on here. Yeah, I, th I think for Berrettini's point of view, you've got to accept that it's happened. But there's no point dwelling on it. He's got to start fresh as he did there. And for me, get some, get some positive energy going. I saw a nice little uh, skip and a jump to go and get his towel once he'd held, held serve. Get the, get the blood flowing, get the heart rate up, get the juices going, and just you know, get some better vibes out there on the court from Root. To see him you know, keep and even raise his intensity here. Doesn't want to settle into a, a rhythm and allow Berrettini to get the initiative in this set. Thirty love. sideline with another big forehand route again that ability to flatten the ball out coming to the four Stay calm, try not to, to panic. Uh, they'll be worried. Aratini's coaching team. Fourteen, fifteen. Quality <laughs> shots in a row. Signs this match might be coming to life. One more. Second set. There's a couple of interesting stats with regards to Berrettini. Now he is a force in the in the slams, there's no doubt. He's won seven, lost 18 lifetime versus top 10 opponents and looking to snap a 10 match losing streak against top 10. He's also never beaten a top 10 player in Grand Slam play. That surprised me. Didn't Sasha Zerb, he was carrying that statistic as well. Yeah, he was, that's right. That may well just be in the back of his mind, a little bit of doubt, you know, am I, have I got the level, am I good enough, can I win this one? It didn't look like he could get here. Somehow able to hit the, the tweener. 
But not only that, actually flicking a, a really effective lob. The next shot looked like it was past him as well. Somehow chased it down and steals the point from Berrettini. smile that one off Mateo you've played two great points and it hasn't mattered they left his manners at the door <laughs> Kasper <laughs> Ruud stealing everything from the Italian here and they could be two really big points as well I'm checking my wallet right now Colin. <laughs> he's everywhere moving with freedom hitting with purpose yes third field Berrettini's going to have to try to hit through him. Hasn't missed the first serve yet in this set, Berrettini. Eight from eight. Yeah, he's definitely found the rhythm there. Pressing, isn't he? Berrettini. 13, 14. It, well, this is a game. He's trying to get it going. Rude is doing a great job here. Another first serve. Used the block return back into play, getting himself in the point. Playing the scoreboard there. Didn't go for too much, Rude, and eventually <laughs> got the error. The 17th unforced. Far too many for Berrettini. Norwegian pickpocket. No, they don't. I made that up. But that's what he's doing out here. It's by two games to one. Second set. And by one set to love. And anybody watching this has got to be smiling watching Casper Ruud play the way he is. It's less now about the, the slow start from Berrettini and more about the quality from Rude. Yes. He's on fire. Norwegian man to reach the quarterfinals here at the US Open. Thank <laughs> you. 
forehand miss. So Berrettini needed for his Four serve and his forehand to be working against Ruth today. He's already been broken three times, and his forehand is flying. He's trying to, and he's trying to rely on it too much, Colin. But right now, it seems there's not one part of Berrettini's game that he can rely on, that he can lean up against. Yeah, that's uh, it's a tough place to be when even your strengths are letting you down. To mention that the weakness on the backhand. Yeah, a very solid hole for Rude, and, and the risk for Berrettini, and, and what we've seen is he's almost trying to overforce when he does get a forehand. Rude he's trying to end the point Rude right there and then. One. Second set. But if Rude keeps this up, he's looking unstoppable. Stay connected to the Open on Facebook and Instagram, TikTok. And you can join the conversation. Hashtag no, no, US Open. First time Berrettini burning forehand down the line. These kind of moments have been few and far between. Foot faulted on the, the first serve there. It's an interesting one, doesn't tend to move the feet too much. And Rude's using that block, Tripping. chip return really effectively. Just ensuring he, you know, he middles the contact, gets himself into the point. He's getting good depth. It's another unforced error for Berrettini. Turn two thirds of the time, it's been really effective for him. Once again, using the deep return position on the second serve, allowing him to get the, the heavy topspin into play. returning and then how quickly he gains the court 13, even 14. so that he can make his way into net well he's putting on a, a career performance here so far rude that wasn't an easy volley but he's got the the dynamic movement that the calmness of mindset just to put the racket on it didn't get over no wonder he pumps the fist and now he's switching up now he's much tighter for his return he's giving berrettini a lot to think about on his serve Chance for 4 1. He misses that. It is 4 1. Yikes. Good 
Six one four one for Ruth. Two one in second set. And by one set to love. forehand from Berrettini who now just has to well in my opinion just just go for it for the rest of this set try and make something special happen and, and hope that Root's going to have a dip as we move towards set three Dear Berrettini's struggles so far in this match. He's won 55% of first serve points, 27 on the second for the tournament. Coming in here, he was winning 82% of first serve points, 59 on the second. Root has just been too good. Rude's movement, Colin, is allowing for him to play Four, everywhere. Fifteen. With such control. Yeah, he's uh, he's been so precise. He's so relaxed, dynamic. Interestingly, when he's when he's back in Norway, in, in particular, he does a lot of work on the practice court, shadowing. What does that mean? Shadowing movements without the ball. You know, moving wide to the forehand. You know, just shadowing the perfect footwork patterns, yeah. recoveries out to the backhand, different patterns of movement and. You don't see a lot of players do that. Everything tends to be with the ball Rude on the court. Five, five but it's not very measured in the approach for Rude. Certainly coming to fruition here. He is moving great. He's hitting the ball clean. Team can't believe it. I mean, what is going on here on Arthur Ashe? Again, the movement, the speed. But that is just so good. Six foot five Berrettini, big reach, still can't get a racket on it. Berrettini trying to stay back, trying to come in. None of it's working. And he's being made to look slow. He's in a tough Sluggish. place here. Berrettini, one of the biggest matches of his career. Being humbled.
30, 40. First unforced error of the set for Kasper Ruud. That gives him a whopping three. He's struggling. <laughs> Footfall call. Now, who's calling that? Well, of course, we have uh, no no, uh, no line judges. There's a little camera either side of the baseline. Right there, I see it. That camera's got a loud voice. That's a tight call. Suggesting the front and the left foot just touched it. A huge return. And another set point for Casper Ruud. Yeah, there's an, an official in a box somewhere on Ash, <laughs> watching those cameras, making the call, he touched the line, 91 mile per hour forehand from Rudin. Third set point for a two set to love lead. going to try, Casper. Just get out of here. <laughs> I think he got there, though. Yeah. Did he? <laughs> Look at that sums it up. <laughs> Disbelief all around Nash. This guy. <laughs> Berrettini played that Thank casually, you. thinking there was no hope for Root. He got there and very nearly made it. I have to hope that Berrettini gets more alert to the realization that Casper is going to round, run down everything. It's by five games to two, second set, and by one set to long. I keep going back to something, Colin, that Rafa Nadal said after he lost to Francis Chiapo on this court yesterday. He said, I played a bad match, and he played a good match. And he said, you have to be quick and very young, and I am not in that momentum anymore. Oh. How about that? It's always a very honest appraisal from Nadal. There's no doubt Rude is quick and very young. Exactly. He's got some serious momentum. Fifteen on. Berrettini's pretty young as well. 26 years old, ranked 14 in the world against this 23-year-old, ranked 7. Oh. Because Ruth, as you say, ranked seven in the okay. world, projected okay. to go higher, even has a chance to finish this tour ranked number one in the world. Nobody's talking about him in a draw that's wide open. You know, people are picking Alcaraz, picking Kyrgios, they're picking Berrettini over him, even Sinner. Gonna have to start talking about him now, I think. Oh.
first Here's great three, four, point three. for Berrettini. Looks like Berrettini's camp has Ajita. Dad often is just looking away from the match. A break here might help their attitude. Thirteen, fourteen. You'd expect Rudd to direct the serve into the back, and again here Berrettini is making eighty percent of first serve returns, but below fifty on the backhand. Smart play, yes. you know, it's simple, but it's effective, making Berrettini beat him with his weakness on a big point and wasn't able to do that. The angst continues for the Italian camp. It's not a five unforced errors in the last two games for Rude. Having made just two in the whole match up to that point. Right from Berrettini and from these fans. Completely different feel about the match in the last two games. Whether it's a loss of focus from Rude or, you know, maybe just a case of the level he was playing was unsustainable. But the errors have started to flow and it's allowed Berrettini to break for the first time. Well, still up against it in this set, but you never know. Nice hands from the big man. He does have some good feel. Uh, 
Aguilar. Yeah, better to from five one to five he four. Goes, much please. more tension in this match now. Really it's my five games. Look who woke up. Four, second set. Yeah. And by one set, too long. Teo Berrettini suddenly getting it going. Momentum now is with Berrettini, but Casper Ruud still has a chance for a two set lead his serve let's see what he's got okay that's good great enough he's got to keep the aggression rude that's what's been working for him dominating this match easy to back off in a big game like this a good start there First forehand, Casper Root. It's interesting. The last three games, his forehand average speed 68 miles per hour. Prior to that, for the match, it was 78. 10 miles an hour down in the last three games, Casper Root. So you've got to keep going for it. Oh. That is a huge switch, isn't it? He's just suddenly spinning the ball, rolling it a little more. Giving Berrettini the initiative in time. Right on cue, some bigger hitting. Leaned on those. 30, 15. Two points from a two set lead. Forehand winner for Casper Rude gives him a couple of set 15. points. Just a reminder what he said pre match whoever hits the most forehands. Yep. Certainly in control there. Let us go. Safely to his chair. A great push by Berrettini, but Root is one set from the semis. Root is by two sets to low. You see that time, Colin, how Berrettini tracked down his own shot, knowing that Rude could get to just about anything today. Yeah, and I love the, the, the fight, the hustle from Rude. And even though he didn't win the point, you chase balls like that, you send a message to your opponent. Yeah, it's got to be perfect or I'm there. Fair enough. Ace number seven from Matteo Berrettini. Rude hasn't yet struck one. That's his dad, Christian.
there's the reward for facing, chasing down the first drop shot. That's right. Martini cutting it a little too fine. Really tried to make something happen there, Rude. Right inside the baseline. Trying to follow the return in. Trying to show Berrettini he's unafraid of his serve. to get some traction at the beginning of this set. First game. Or it'll be the First last set. set he plays. There's a real purpose in his stride now. He certainly hasn't given up hope. Coming up next on this court, Anjabur, the fifth seed, and Ayla Tomjanovic, unseeded, ranked 46 in the world. She's a player who knocked out Serena. Oh. And yeah, what a great effort to win the, the match after beating Serena. Easy to have a letdown. Tomjanovic, it was a tough one as well. They're trying to gauge when they might be playing. Now that Berrettini has come alive. Sets in a break up on Mute. Previous no, round, that was his, his first ever match on Arthur Ashe. Casper really certainly likes it out here. He doesn't want to have a, a similar drop off today. Berrettini, a far more dangerous opponent. Just pull it wide. Long forte. Thank you. Mm. 
deep slice Fifteen. again there, forcing Aratini to beat him with his weakness. Couldn't do it. Two more chances, though, to get the perfect start to this set for the 13th seed. Leads by two games to love third set. Well, what a momentum swing here. 6 1 5 1. Rude, unstoppable. Look at that t shirt. It's a little disturbing. Plenty going on there. It's a little too much. Six games have Long gone to 15. Matteo Berrettini. Just the errors have started to come in for, for Kasper Ruud. 14 now for the match. 12 of those in the last six games. Berrettini's bumping up his winners too. just feels completely different it sure does yeah, there's a real possibility here of a comeback uh, you know it's early days but I really think that look at the belief written all over him Berrettini's become the playmaker Miss there, and yeah, Rude has a chance okay. to break early, get back on serve in this third. Wow, I didn't see this coming. Look at Mateo's dad under that cap. Oh. He's got no nails left, I don't think. <laughs>
127 wide. Yes. to be fighting this fight. Another long rally won by the Roman. Advantage, Berrettini. It's big time tennis. His backhand stood up to the test initially, and then anytime Rude goes down the line with his own backhand, he'd better hit a good shot because Berrettini can just flick that forehand cross court and really hurts him. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Yes. It's third double fault, his first of this set. Pulls that wide. Advantage. Ooh. You just sense a little bit of tension still. You know, he's no margin for error. Two sets to love down. Yep. Again, and facing the break point, this time 129 yes. miles per hour, too hot to handle. He got it. Yeah, the match of incredible shots from Kaspar Ruud. This is right up there with the best of them. He anticipated the right way, got the left foot behind it, and just a brilliant jab down the line. What a shot. Yes. These ad court serves of Berrettini's. That was 135. Yeah, and changed it up. First two break points went wide. Got the heat down the tee there. Fastest of the match so far is 136. That pulls wide. 
Any time Root can get the return back into play. It's clear that Berrettini is feeling the pressure. I don't speak Norwegian, so I can't tell you what was said, but of course, coaching allowed now, passing on some advice. I would I would assume it's something to do with the, the serve, you know, the patterns from Berrettini, which one to cover. This game is about 10 minutes long. Get the feeling it could swing this match one way or the other. Berrettini. It's only one of 11, 24 points of the net, but got the job done there in one of the biggest games in the match so far. Berrettini leads by three games, slow, third set. All holds Lutes count the same, but some matter slow. more than others. Root serves at love three in the third. Long pitch is starting to get under Root's skin. Berrettini playing so much better on that last changeover. Rude wasn't rude or impertinent or impolite or churlish. He just said, those big screens have to change quickly before Berrettini throws up his serve, his toss. If because you know. sometimes Castro has been losing the serve with, this, with these big screens. And he made the call, the chair. And hopefully that's settled. Oh. He settled his game. Berrettini being bolder, moving quicker, Seven. dictating play. I mentioned it earlier in the match that he felt against Davidovich Fakina in the fourth round he had to find the right energy. After a, a below average start to the match, it certainly feels as if he's found that energy now. Six of the last seven games have gone against Kasper Ruud. It's a big one for the Norwegian to re-establish himself in the match. That's not going to help. That's a 
bad decision and poor three. execution. Advantage, good. Oh, that's so sweet. It's a good feeling when you get the, the ball on your, your outside volley. You can just carve That's around it. the outside of it for that delicious angle. What are you feeling right now, Colin? I'm feeling the comeback is on. Now the match has completely changed. Rude not being able to maintain the incredible level that he played for the best part of two sets. Berrettini has far more energy and belief about him. Of course, it's a, a big ask, but it feels possible. He's really changed his patterns on serve. Up to a set in 5 1, he was really targeting the rude forehand return, but the Norwegian, of course, been using that block to get himself back into play. He was up at 80%. Serving at 80% of his first Third serve to the brute forehand. Up to a set in 5 1. He's now spreading it much more around the box, keeping it root guessing. That's got to be a better strategy. Last thing you want is to be predictable. Thank <laughs> you. 
from the Italian. It's really working nicely. Combo Plata, the surf and turf. 40, <laughs> 15. Right. Yeah, he's able to really push his opponents back with it, the heavyweight serve and forehand, but he's got the, the vision, but also the skills to exploit the space in the forecourt. Drop shot really starting to work for him. I'm really interested here, Rude. You know, can he find that, that gear again? And try and get on top of this match, or is it going to start to get away from him? Fourteen, that's it. for the Italian. Berrettini leads by 14 to 1 third set. Rude leads by two sets to love. Casper Rude's got to go back to taking say. He's got to go back to taking care of his serve again because Berrettini's doing a great job in that department. Rude Just discussing at the break, what can Rude do to try and reverse the the momentum against them? We, I, I think, you know, up the aggression, find the first serve again. The form he's got to cut out those errors. That was the the hallmark of his his good play in the opening two sets. Very few errors like the backhand we saw there. He had so much energy. His big swing seemed safe. Moving so well to the, the forehand Fourteen. wing in particular, Fifteen. Rude. Berrettini get... Yeah, some good advice there from Christian on his feet to deliver it. Yeah, Berrettini really works the ball. A lot of spin. He can pull opponents off the court with a cross court, but Rude has been... Wow, he's moving well out there. I heard backhand in that Norwegian coaching. Seems like a good idea against Berrettini. And Rudy. Berrettini leads by 14 to 2. Third set. This could be a big miss in the net for the Norwegian. Yeah, once again, had to use that backhand slice in defense. He hit a good one, should have done a lot better with a forehand.
heavyweight tennis from Berrettini. So rude slicing and defense again. It's been interesting in this Third match. Down. It's actually hitting more backhand slices percentage terms than Berrettini, who slices more than anyone else in the draw. I think it's just a, a sign of how much defending that Rude is having to do, especially now in second half of the second set and the third. Being pushed wide to that wing. <laughs> Left. Tenth ace for Berrettini. Fourth of this set as we approach the two hour mark. Berrettini leads by five games to two. Third set. Rudy leads by two sets to low. Long 15. Fifty nine. Stan Smith watching on. He won this title and Wimbledon. Tenth on fourth error of the set for Rude. Remember how clean he was for almost an hour there. Yeah, we're yet to have a period in the match where both players are really, you know, playing their highest level at the same time. Thirty fourteen. Another set point for Veratini. Yes. 
Well, some people argue it doesn't matter that much whether you, you serve first in a set. I'm a big believer in this kind of situation that you know, Root wants to hold here. If he is going to lose the third, at least start the fourth serving and keep his nose in front. Not to mention give Berrettini a chance to maybe tighten up and I recover this set. Rude. That was a well-directed serve. Hard to pull Berrettini off the court. He doesn't want to give up any court, does he? He wants to stay tight to that baseline and maybe a little too tight there. Found the net with his return, but... Berrettini it's 5-3 like for games. Matteo Berrettini. Yeah, good effort there. It's just one break. Just one break, you know, he's at least asked a question. New balls coming into play. That will... Uh, music to Berrettini's ears, he will like those quicker through the air, quicker off the court. This could be an interesting game. He has created the four break points in this set, Rude, so it's not if he's been completely out of it on return. Fifteen up. Eleven days. Fifth for this set. 130 miles an hour. Must have caught the back edge. Berrettini would have been willing it out. Rude must have seen him coming, Colin. Yeah, Berrettini. not the first time he's tried that. Berrettini and again picked off. It's a it's a high quality return to get that to bounce before Berrettini from that far back in the court. Talon just let the ball get behind him, tough to control. Let us have. Thank you. 
Got him out there. Mary with a second serve to the forehand. Rude wasn't expecting it and just left it hanging Third in the middle of the court. Brave from Berrettini to take that into the strength of the Norwegian. Two points from the third set. What an effort after such a sleepy start from the Italian. Dirty, 14. He's feeling it. He's trying to move left, keep the point on his forehand, made the error. Yeah. Attention with a knife. <laughs> Number 12. Fifth break point saved and just keeps delivering the big booming first serves to get out of trouble. Tini looked to me like he just ran out of a little gas in that point. 22 pounded ground shots trying to hit the winner. Another chance for Casper Rude to drag this third set back on serve. Huge first serve, great point Huge. down. He has to make that volley. Advantage. Rude. Great effort from Rude. This time the ball not bouncing before the Italian. And, and it what? was tailing off of Rude. Yeah, and that was on his racket though. He, he just he just snatched that a little miss hit and the ball dying into the net. He can't believe it. Another chance to get back on serve. Return. We are back on 
Spencer. This is something. Berrettini leads by five games to four third set. Vielen Dank. It's got that Scandinavian Iceman mentality. Even when 5 2 down in this set, there was no panic, no loss of emotional control. Something in the water in that part of the world, of course. The majority of the, the top Scandinavians have been Swedish over the years, but you know, Borg, Edberg, Magnus Norman, Philander. I don't think they ever said a word on the court. Roots cut from the same cloth. Big energy dip for Berrettini, who was skipping around this court ten minutes ago. Five games old, third set. Root now just two games from the semis. It's a real test for Berrettini now. His head's down, energy levels have dipped. Three games in a row against him. His hopes and dreams that this year's US Open are now on the line here. Who could have taken that as backhand? He danced around to hit a forehand. Did so well to get back into the point as well. Sent it wide. That's 
nothing stayed hit. For Tilal. In 31 mile an hour, so the forearm wasn't far behind it. Oh! Six five in the third. Berrettini leads by six games to five. Third set. Blue leads by two sets to love. Oh. Played the perfect point. 15 all. Brave to take the ball out the air. There's Mateo's father. I don't know why he comes to these things. He's, it's always the same, Colin. I mean, he could not watch this on TV. Yeah, it can't be easy being a, <laughs> a tennis parent, especially at this level. He had Rude on the ropes there. Thirty fifteen. Thirty all. Great shot from Casper Ruud. It was really awkward off the forehand slice from Berrettini. Just kept his cool, 14, flicked a lovely 13. angle. Chance for Ruud to take us to the tie break. Let's 
some pickup. Yeah, some Luke. pickup. We are in a tie break. So far this year's US Open, Berrettini's played Six four breakers. Zone. He's won Perfect. three of them. Roots played break. five. Won two, lost three. I often think that, you know, the big server, as Berrettini is, just has a slight advantage in, in a tiebreak situation. But, of course, he has to find the mark. As you see, their 2022 tiebreak records. Thank you. to kick things off. He used the backhand down the line. He was brave. Good. That gave him control. Wow, he's just a tie break. Six points away from the US Open semi-final. Goes long. Three quick points from Casper Rude. It's huge hitting. We saw after the, the second point, Barretti remonstrating with his team. It's clear that Rude is playing with far more conviction, certainty, what he's trying to do on the court. Barrettini has the little bit of doubt that's hurting him. I kind of feel the Italian has to win both these service points here. What did Casper Ruud say, Colin, as he was making his way onto this court? 4-1. That this match will be decided by whoever hits Ruud forehands. And in many ways, it has played out to that end. He's uh, been able to get his into play and 
in the crunch here. He's really upping the, the ball speed on that wing, hitting it with authority. Trying to find Berrettini's backhand. Let us have him. Four, two. Good. It's a lifeline for Berrettini. Still a mini breakdown, but it's a, a big difference mentally. Changing ends at 4-2 compared to Five, two, good. Once again, Root finds the mark when it matters most, right on the line with another forehand. It's the 11th forehand winner. and control Six, and now two. he's got himself a fistful of match points that would take him into the u.s Good. open semi-finals Six, three. Ace number 13. Rudy. He's still in big trouble. from Berrettini. The serve and the forehand, it felt as if the match could be over, but he somehow Six stood four. firm. Rude. Thank you.
That four hand does it. Root. Root into Chris the semis. <laughs> six one, six four, seven three. He survived a resurgent Berrettini, who for all the world looked like he was going to be able to take this into a fourth set. But the 23 year old from Norway, Hunter, took it in straights. That's some effort.